Hello everybody, Game Freak 9917 and I'm back today with more Forza Horizon 2 bringing you yet another car review and today I am going to be reviewing the 2012 Ferrari F12 Berlinetta. Now the Ferrari F12 is actually one of my favorite Grand Touring cars of all time and the reason why I say that is because it makes a lot of power, it's very fast, it looks good and it's a really cool car you know Ferrari makes exquisite pieces of art when it comes to just cars but anyway the engine in the Ferrari F12 Berlinetta is a 6.3 liter V12 engine and it has a 7 speed dual clutch automated manual transmission but the uh, power numbers from that V12, it's making 730 horsepower, producing 508 foot-pound torque, and weighs 3,593 pounds. So it has a lot of power, and it doesn't weigh a tremendous amount. So anyway, let's go ahead, see what kind of colors we have, and just uh, buy this car once again. Since I already have one of these cars. Alright, so we have this sort of light red, a orangish red kind of color, a darker red, I guess, a yellow, some different shades of blue, black, some grays, sort of tan kind of color, or cream actually, and a white. I really like the white, but this blue right here, actually this blue right here. I'm really liking that blue. Let's see what the interior looks like. Oh yeah, it's a nice looking interior from just what we can see here. I still wish it was sort of like how they did it and uh I don't know if they did it in Forza five, but I know they did it in Forza Four where there was the Auto Vista. I think I'm sure that they had it in five still, but I just don't know, I haven't played the game. The only thing I have played is just the demo, which I can't remember if there's actually a Auto Vista or not, but anyway, let's go ahead and see what this uh, 730 horsepower V12 can give us. <clears throat> anyway, I love the look of this car. I absolutely love that blue. Of course, it's starting to rain. It just wouldn't be a car review without a little rain. Oh my god, that V12 is... Oh, it sounds so good. One of Horizon's top drivers is Shut player. up. I've marked their position on your GPS. If you'd like to challenge... Shut the fuck up. I don't care what you have to say. I want to hear this engine. Yeah, that interior is very nice looking. Some touches of carbon fiber here and there. A lot of high quality leather and whatnot. Very nice looking interior. Very little drama off the uh, start there. One of my favorite things about this car since it is a grand touring car it's made to be powerful and fast and whatnot but it's also made to be very comfortable and very luxurious almost on the inside and that's something that I really like about this car because it is a Ferrari they know luxury very well so that's something that they really uh, did go with when it came to making this car but so far, everything about this car, handling, braking, and everything, it's doing very good in the rain. Speed and acceleration, uh, it's not quite there. As you can tell, it's a little bit of a heavier car, but it's not made to uh, do these super, super car and hyper car type uh, speeds. But I am very impressed with the grip and the handling that this car has given me. Alright, 
right, let's just line it up here. Oh, it's perfect. A lot of wheel spin, but there was enough grip there to not have the uh, back end fishtail and just kick out from me. Alright, and sixth gear. Doing 160, 170 now. And 185.72 across the line. Not too bad. No, his car is still very heavy. So let's go ahead and chop down that weight, add some more power. This car is very powerful upgraded. That's something that I do remember because uh, I remember what my fully built F12 was like. Although I'm not quite sure if there's any sort of engine swap that I did or that I can even do. So let's just go ahead and see what we can do here. Alright, we have a drivetrain swap, make it all-wheel drive, no thank you. Alright, definitely add some twin turbos, gives us an extra 108 horsepower just by putting the twin turbos on. Upgrade the camshaft. There's not much in terms of uh, what you can upgrade in the engine, but some of these upgrades are very good at giving horsepower. Our upgrade the twin turbos an extra 125 horsepower. So I think this car is actually making more horsepower than the Aventador, if I remember if I remember correctly. Our 1,160 horsepower is our final numbers. Then we're just gonna throw on the flywheel. Alright, not going to do anything with the suspension. Upgrade the anti roll bars. And I don't think I'm going to be putting a roll cage on because we added an extra 200 pounds with. Yeah, I'm not going to be putting a roll cage on just because this car is still fairly heavy and we're still putting more parts in. And those tires are going to be adding more weight as well since we're going to be having wide tires on. Thankfully with some of this stuff it's actually taking off weight as well. Upgrade the driveline took off an extra was it 5.4 pounds I believe it was. Put the race compound tires on. Throw on some 265s up front, so I'm thinking it might be 325s in the back. Oh no, 345s, because it started us out at 315s in the back. Figured that the uh, they would have been a little bit more closer. And then of course, just a splitter and a race wing. The wing actually looks kind of silly on it. It looks good, but silly. Like, it makes it look like it's definitely a track-ready beast. But anyway, let's go ahead and just see what this car can do. We now have a fully upgraded twin-turbo V12 engine in a Ferrari. 1,160 horsepower. Oh yeah, this car sounds angry. Able to reach higher RPMs now, a lot faster and quicker. And oh, the turbos. With the cockpit view, you almost get the. You, well, you do get the best of both worlds. You get the uh, high revving exhaust notes from the exhaust. But you still get a lot of that uh, spooling and uh, blow off from the turbos. Alright, McLaren F1 GT was a credit car. I don't feel like uh, racing that. Just kind of feel like uh, displaying what this car is like. So it's very fast and quick now, and it's still handling very good on the gravel, which I'm honestly surprised. 
Oh, uh, tremendous amounts of grip in third gear coming out of corners. Let's see what second gear gives us. Alright, don't upshift in the fourth. Instead, break and downshift in the second. Oh yeah, second gear is a little bit more uh, tricky when coming out and going around corners. The back end is more susceptible to kicking out. Oh, come on, brakes. Really bad break in there by me. Whoa. So far this car is actually handling very well. As you can see there, I actually kicked it down into second gear when I was going around that corner and it was managing very well. All right, now watch the uh, kilometer uh, per mile, the speedometer to the right, see how fast that uh, goes up. Uh, I probably should have uh, weighted that gear out a little bit more. And uh, 220.63 across the line. Very fast. Although with 1,160 horsepower, you could expect a little bit more, honestly. But that is still very quick. But man, this car is just beautiful. But anyway, my overall thoughts on this car, it's an awesome car. The only problem is, with second gear, it's very susceptible to kicking out around and coming out of corners. But everything else about this car is very good. It looks good, sounds good, the handling is actually very well, it turns good, there's not a lot of uh, understeer. And uh, there isn't copious amounts of oversteer as well. And the brakes are very good as well. And the grip on this thing in third gear is phenomenal. You can just hammer on it almost right away when coming out of a corner. But otherwise, this car is actually very good. And what my, my overall uh, rating on this car as a track car, I would actually give this a 9 out of 10. The only problem that I have, like I said before, in second gear, it's susceptible to kicking out from you when coming around the corner. So it's basically more about throttle control than anything. But uh, all of that is very manageable. So this car is very good. And would I recommend buying this if you have the money? And if, I would definitely go ahead and get it. And if you have the money to upgrade it, I would definitely do that as well. It's a very fast car, very quick, and it is a lot of fun to drive. It is a very good track car. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, let me know in the comments section down below or just give the video a thumbs up. If you want to see more content from me and my friends when I record a thumb, make sure to hit the subscribe button. I'll be uploading daily. And I'd like to thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.